Hey everybody, my name is Paul Singh. I'm an ophthalmologist and tear segment surgeon from Southeastern Wisconsin. And I thought I'd share my experiences and my thoughts on my first day performing smile refractive surgery. You know, I heard a lot of different opinions on the learning curve of smile, uh, the benefits post-operatively, how quickly patients recover. And so I was a little apprehensive, I'll be honest with you, I was kind of nervous actually doing the procedure. Uh, but I will tell you that I was surprised of how I think intuitive the procedure is. You know, I, I think the, the dissection of the lenticule is something that a lot of a lot of myself and others were kind of worried about. And I think with the new laser settings of the Visumax in the U.S. now, the cuts are extremely efficient, and the actual dissection is is more efficient than I thought. And again, very intuitive. And I think what's also important to understand is it's basic tissue planes. It's basic dissection that makes a lot of sense when you actually understand it. For me, it helped a great deal having uh, pig eyes to do a wet lab with the Zeiss uh, personnel and then also having a didactic lecture before we did the procedure. That really made a big difference. But when I got in there in my first case, which I'm going to show in just in a few minutes in this video, I realized that it was just basic principles. Anterior dissection, posterior dissection, and the lenticle comes out. And that was really something that was surprising for me after doing you know, three cases or six eyes. I realized, wow, they're all very consistent. And that was a very nice, exciting thing for me to experience. But what also I think was a quote unquote wow factor was the fact that when you're done with the lenticule and it, you remove it out of the eye, you actually realize you're done. You're like, wait a minute, I'm actually done now? Because doing LASIK, which of course is a wonderful procedure, you really, you know, you have to put a patient to the next bed, switch them over, put the speculum back in the eye, lift the flap, perform another laser, put the flap back, wash it out, and there's so much more, many more steps. And when you take the lenticule out, and you're, you're thinking, what else do I have to do? And you realize there's nothing left to do except you're done. It's kind of like neat, it's got a wow factor, not so from an efficiency standpoint of view, but then you realize, the benefits of not being in the eye as long, not having the risk of a flap, etc. So for me, it just balancing the safety of of a surface ablation, but yet the comfort level of LASIK was was really something I appreciated much more after actually performing the procedure. And then the day day one, I just saw my patient now uh, at day four. This is uh, four days after, and patients are 2015, 2020. It's amazing. And even day one, they're 2020, 2025, and and so the happiness factor was really still very impressive, very similar to that of LASIK actually. So comfort level, uh, safety for the and distress level for the surgeon, I think. Uh, much less than I am with, with LASIK was really surprising. So I want to share with you uh, the video of my first case, uh, the surgical video, and then uh, of course uh, the patient experience uh, after that as well. Thank you for watching this video and like I said, if you have any questions, any comments, please feel free at the end of the video. I have my email address. Email me anytime. Thanks again. Hello. Hello. You got Lisa. Hi. First, we're going to smile. This is our first, first time doing some smile surgery. We got the busy max there. Julie's gonna help me out. We're gonna do a great job, right? Our first case. Yes, absolutely. It's about time. We'll make people smile today. All right, guys. Hey. Let's rock it. Here we go. Well, here we are docking the eye with the. Visumax. Um, you know, one thing that's nice about the Visumax, I've actually performed a number of LASIK flaps with this machine to get ready for smile, and I've noticed that the patients are very comfortable. The eye pressure only goes up to about 80 millimeters of mercury with the suction, so they don't lose fixation, they don't lose vision, but more importantly, they're very comfortable, so they don't squeeze like some of the other femtosecond platforms. So now I went ahead and pressed the button, the foot pedal, and the laser is now making the lenticule cuts. It first makes the posterior cut first, which is the refractive cut. And then we'll go ahead now is make the anterior cut, which is also known as the cap cut. This whole process takes about 24 seconds now. It's really quick. And now making that side cut, which is gonna the tunnel to allow us access to the lenticule. And that's pretty much it. The laser has done its job. Now here I am under the scope here of the Visumax, and I'm making my tunnel into opening into the tunnel to access the lenticule. Now I'm aiming up now with this instrument here. I'm aiming up anteriorly, pushing almost against the anterior cap there to make sure I'm in the anterior plane. You see how there's no bubbles above my instrument there. Now I'm going to go to the other side of the wound, open up the wound here, and I'm going to aim posteriorly, almost downward pressure. And you see almost now there's bubbles above my instrument there. And it's a little more resistance to the posterior plane. That's how I know I'm below the lenticule. Now with my dissector, I'm going to again aim up into that anterior space that I created. You see there's no gas bubbles above my instrument, which means I'm in the anterior plane now. And with a windshield wiper type of 
action and motion here, I'm going to go ahead and just slowly dissect the anterior plane. And again, there's no reason to rush. This is my first eye. I'm really nervous. You probably saw me shaking earlier. <laughs> it's, of course, very nerve wracking. But I was amazed of how efficient it was to dissect. And there's some areas that are a little bit more, has more resistance. That's okay. Just be methodical and take your time. And you see here now these the anterior dissection is actually fairly straightforward, making sure I have all the areas dissected. I'm going to come out and aim now posteriorly to the posterior plane. And you see this gas bubbles above it. You almost see the dissectors more dull appearing now and blurry. That means you're in the posterior plane. I'm going to, same windshield wiper type of motion I'm going to use now. And again, don't be in a hurry. Just go ahead and dissect. Sometimes a little more resistance in the posterior plane. And I'm going to leave two anchors on each side here. The reason why you want that is it prevents the lenticule from bunching up and having a difficult time taking out as one piece. So I go ahead and leave these areas on each side. Now I'm going to go back to the first area, remove that first anchor, or dissect the first anchor. And once I'm done dissecting that first anchor, I'm going to move to the other side to finish off the other anchor. And again, just being methodical, you can try every area dissected, come out. And now that I'm done, I'm going to now take a special micro forceps designed for smile to reach in and remove the lenticule. And you want to be, again, very careful when you go in there just not to pull too fast. Just make sure you have the entire lenticule. Slowly loosen it up in case there's any adhesion still there. And you see the lenticule coming out beautifully. Again, my first case. And it's what, a, what a wonderful feeling it is when you get that lenticule to come out. You're like, wow, this is amazing. You see how beautifully round that is there, making sure there's no small pieces that were broken up and looks great. And what's amazing is the wow factor. We're done now. I'm going to flush it out a little bit there. You don't really have to. But I'm going to flush it out and then make sure I squeegee out some of that fluid. But the fact that you have to go back and put a flap back, make sure the flap is, you know, position correctly, you're done. And that's the wow factor. No second laser you have to do. No getting at the patient up on the bed to a different bed. You're done. That to me was an incredible wow factor after doing so many PRK and LASIK patients. So here we are now with our patient who's just telling us how happy she is. She's a minus eight and a half. And so she just can't believe that she can actually see everybody. She's so comfortable and she's a trooper throughout the entire process. So to me, that's again, the, the, the bottom line is these happy patients as we all try to achieve at the end of the day. You did it! I can see your face! I know. <laughs> Just don't rub your eyes. Hi. I'm gonna so be crying. Really a fantastic experience as a first day for me. And there's my staff uh, with the Zeiss folks as well as my own staff here and uh, how happy we all are uh, taking care of these patients. So a wonderful experience. I, I recommend those of you who are thinking about performing SMILE, you're not sure yet. Uh, it's a very, very efficient, intuitive procedure. Uh, and I think these outcomes are amazing. The patient you just saw was 20-20 in the right eye, 20-25 in the left eye the next day post-op. Very comfortable. Patient uh, had no complaints at night. So you had the best of both worlds, the best of the comfort level of LASIK, but the safety of a surface ablation. So I hope this video helped you. Please email me anytime if you have any comments or questions. And thank you again.